The Dallas Cowboys go on the road this week to face the Cincinnati Bengals in a critical game for both teams. Cincinnati is currently installed as a three-point favorite in this game on bet deck. 45 and a half is the total. The Bengals have won four in a row. They've covered in all four games. They're now seven and five, tied with Pittsburgh for the final wild card spot in the AFC. So this is obviously a huge game for the Bengals. And as far as Dallas goes, even though the Cowboys have been bad this season, I mean, four and eight against the spread, one and five against the spread in their last six games. If you've watched the Cowboys play, you know this team has been consistently underwhelming. They seem to fall behind week in and week out. Sometimes their offense is able to pull themselves all the way out of the hole. They're able to win games. Sometimes they aren't. As we said, they've won half of their games. They're 6-6. Six and six. Despite all that, they're only a game out of first in the NFC East because the New York Giants have been struggling themselves recently. So the Cowboys, I mean, they could put it all behind them. The Dallas Cowboys could do the same thing that the New York Giants did last year right around this time of the season and get hot, ride a wave of momentum all the way into the postseason. And once you get into the playoffs, who knows what can happen. That could happen to Dallas. We just haven't seen any evidence that that's going to happen to Dallas. As we said, this team seems to fall behind every week. A mistake-prone team that seems to not be able to get out of their own way. The stats are impressive. Top 10 offense, second in the league in pass yards per game, 11th in total defense, 10th in pass defense, which was their big Achilles heel last year. But... That, you know, when you watch this team play, they certainly don't look impressive. All that being said, you know, when I first saw this line come out this week, my gut, in my instinct said Dallas. I said, you know, Dallas plus three, this is just the type of game Dallas wins. But then over the last couple days, I've asked myself, why? Why do I want to bet on Dallas in this game? I mean, the Cowboys, they've been bad, as we said. I mean, they've won three out of the last four, but those three wins have been against Philadelphia twice and Cleveland at home in overtime, so not impressive wins. They are 1-5 and five against the spread in their last six, as we mentioned. And Cincinnati's been playing so well, the Bengals have been playing especially well on defense. I mean, this Cincinnati defense has been dominant over the last month. Their four-game win streak, they have, not, they have not allowed any one of those four teams to top 13 points. So why would I want to back the Dallas Cowboys? Why would I lean towards the Dallas Cowboys here? I think it all centers around my lack of faith in the Cincinnati Bengals. I admit I am not yet a believer in this Cincinnati team. And then I ask, why is that? Why can't I buy in on the Bengals? I think that's because of the last year and a half of Cincinnati football. Not the last decade of mostly futility of Cincinnati football, more the last year and a half. Remember last season, Cincinnati was the surprise of the league through eight games, started out the season six and two. They were seven and one against the spread in those games. Then it just fell apart. Their next 17 games, that's the last eight games of last regular season, the playoff game last, last season, and the first eight games of this regular season. Those 17 games, Cincinnati only covered three times, three times in those 17 games. Now, since then, the last four games, they've covered all four games, won four in a row. So it was almost as if last season when Cincinnati was 6-2 and two and 7-1 and one against the spread, those people who bought in then, they were sorry they bought in because Cincinnati was one of the worst teams in the NFL to back throughout the next 17 games. But now they seem to have turned it back around. But forgive me if I'm not fully on the Cincinnati bandwagon yet. Now, Will I back Dallas in this game? I, I don't think I will because it's just tough for me to, I, I don't know. I, I don't like what I've seen out of Dallas the last few weeks. I've lost betting on Dallas a couple times. I almost bet on Dallas last week, minus 10.5 against Philadelphia. Now, in fairness, they should have covered that game. They were up 11 points before they allowed a punt return with 30 seconds left. Ended up winning that game by five. But still, they didn't cover. So Dallas been a tough team to back recently. I, I'm not sure. There might be better opportunities on the board this week than backing the Dallas Cowboys. I think my favorite bet in this game is the under. 45.5 is the total. We mentioned the Cincinnati defense recently has been playing very well. Their last four opponents have not topped 13 points. Dallas has been playing well themselves on the defensive side of the ball. And even though Cincinnati is solid on offense, you know, they're somewhat conservative, especially in the last few weeks. They've run the ball more. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis has gotten more involved in this offense. Andy Dalton is a serviceable quarterback, but he's not spectacular. Not a guy like Drew Brees or, or Peyton Manning or Tom Brady or even Tony Romo a guy who's going to really carry the team with his passing ability. Now, Cincinnati does have one of the best wide receivers in the league in A.J. Green, no question about that. And, and Green, I'm sure, will be the focal point of the Cowboys' defense this week. But I don't know, 45 and a half just feels a little high to me in this spot. I think I lean towards under in this game. 
And I have a feeling Dallas might win. Now, do I recommend to bet on Dallas? No, I don't, because really I can't back that up with much other than some abstract feeling and the fact that I don't believe in the Cincinnati Bengals. But still, I, I think the Dallas I think Dallas might pull out a road win here. The bet I like more though is under 45 and a half.